Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Borg Warner. Feel good about driving. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. Hello and welcome to Auto Line Daily and TGIF. I'm Drew Winner from Wards Auto, filling in for John today. I'll get to the results of the latest AutoLine poll a little later in the show, but now let's get to today's top stories. Ford's hybrids are starting to gain a lot of popularity. The company expects to break its full-year sales record for hybrids in the U.S. this month. Ford's best year was 2010 when it sold just over 35,000 hybrids. So far this year, the company has sold just under 30,000 hybrids. And it looks like Ford is cannibalizing Toyota's hybrid sales. Last month, the Fusion Hybrid outsold the Camry Hybrid, and sales of the Prius are down 12% this year. Zipcar, one of the leading car sharing services in the world, announced it's expanding its network to eight new airports in North America. The company now operates in 20 cities, including 11 airports and 300 universities. The cost to reserve a car at airports for Zipcar members, also known as Zipsters, starts at $9 per hour, or $70 a day. The 97th running of the Indianapolis 500 will take place later this month, and the all-new 2014 Corvette Stingray will be the official pace car. It marks the 12th time a Corvette has paced the iconic race, the first coming in 1978. Look for the production version to be tearing up streets this fall. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the 911 Turbo, and Porsche is rolling out a new Turbo and Turbo S model. It's built on an entirely new chassis that extends the wheelbase nearly four inches, and also includes a new all-wheel drive system and active rear axle steering. Each car is powered by a turbocharged six-cylinder with a turbo model producing 520 horsepower and the S producing 560. Both use the same seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. And all that power rockets the turbo to 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds with the S doing it in 2.9. These bad boys will be hitting the street towards the end of 2013, but be ready to pull out your checkbooks. The turbo is priced just under $150,000, while the S starts at $182,000. Okay, it's time to reveal the results from the latest AutoLine poll. We asked if you would consider dumping your car radio in favor of streaming audio through the internet with your smartphone. And it wasn't even close. Only 10% of you said you would use your smartphone, the other 90% want to keep things just the way they are. These results aren't too surprising, but it's interesting to see just how much we like our radios. Thanks for participating. Coming up next, could autonomous cars be right around the corner? John McElroy and his expert guests take a deep dive into self-driving vehicles in the latest edition of AutoLine this week. Plus, we'll have some special information about the upcoming Wards Auto Interiors Conference. Stay tuned. Dow Automotive Systems, driving solutions in automotive, commercial transportation, and aftermarket with innovative products like Betamate structural adhesives. Lighter, stronger, safer. DowBetamate.com. As I mentioned before the break, this week's topic in AutoLine is all about autonomous cars. In the following clip, Continental's Christian Schumacher explains the steps the auto industry is taking to make autonomous cars a reality. Parking maneuvers are uh, the first approach, um, it's kind of a transition uh, because uh, you can say at the end of the day we already have automated driving today in production with some cars that park themselves. Not as sophisticated as uh, VW Audi is showing it uh, or has shown it in Las Vegas, but uh, there are cars out there currently available that can park themselves in parallel situations for example. So that was the first approach, very slow speed. Now you're going a little bit step further. That's, uh, for example, what Audi was showing uh, in the parking structure. It's still fairly slow. Next one we see is kind of the traffic jam scenario. I still envision, I have to say, because uh, people sometimes uh, miss this part, I envision that the traffic jam scenario will be most likely only on highways. I'm not envisioning that immediately in the city. The reason for that is very simple, because the environment in the city is much more complex. You have pedestrians, you have bicycles, you have dogs, you have a lot of uh, right. environmental objects, let's say it, in around there, that is, is a bigger challenge for the system. So I envision that on the highways. But then most likely, step by step, we will approach different environments like cities, 
maybe first we stay on the highway, drive a little bit fast on the highway, have uh, uh, systems that are able, as an example, to drive by themselves in commuter lanes, maybe in separate lanes. Um, so all this part is part of a strategy that at the end of the day will end up in autonomous driving, yes. Mm -hmm. Also joining John for that show is Annie Lean from Volkswagen and Gary Silberg from KPMG. You can watch that entire show right now at our website or check your local public television listings to see when it airs in your area. And before I sign off, I just want to say the Ward's Auto Interiors Conference is coming up May 22nd at the Henry Hotel in Dearborn, Michigan. I think we've got the best lineup of speakers and sessions we've ever had. Amco Leonard's Ford's global head of interior design is flying in from Europe to deliver our morning keynote. And Johan Jungworth, the CEO of Mercedes-Benz Research and Development, will be delivering our afternoon keynote. We've got some excellent sessions planned. We'll do a live video tour of the Ward's 2013 10 Best Interiors, all sorts of fun stuff. Go to autointeriors.com for further information. Well, that's a wrap for today. Once again, I'm Drew Winter from Ward's Auto. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.